what's up everybody in today's video i'm going to be going over my feather settings and basically giving you guys the best possible settings basically for smps i would say in my opinion um the main reason why this has been a little delayed is because i've been partnered with feather for about a month and you know i'm actually like adjusting to the settings and you know i don't i don't know every setting immediately all bad i had to experience what settings were the best obviously so i couldn't just be like oh here's my settings video but then i changed stuff right like i really don't know and like i also got some pack changes that's like also within um my feather settings so i'm gonna go over them really quick i'm not gonna like get in into like too much detail if i don't need to but um we're gonna start um right here okay so i have shulker tooltips on uh visuals i have this on have everything turned off um besides li lily pad color and biomes because i don't know i need it um armor status i have on I don't think I have much changes to it, but you can look at my settings. Pause if you need to. Um, attack indicator. That's just self-explanatory. When I like shoot a bow or like my shield gets disabled, you see the attack indicator. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's not special. The armor looks like this when I have armor on. Not special. Like it's just self-explanatory, like almost, but it's like very useful. Um, armor status is like also very useful because. You can like match up your mending a lot better like it's it's 100 percent better than like i guess you could say bar armor hill health like bar armor health so like i, I would use numbers like it's, it's been helping a ton and i've noticed improvement boss bar self-explanatory when there's a boss nearby um brightness uh that's just like i, I don't know full bright yeah full bright so yeah self-explanatory custom fog I actually, uh, yeah, it's just no fog. That's literally it. I have no fog on. Perspective. Um, this basically um allows me to do this because if I'm mending or something, and I don't want to get caught lacking, I don't want to get caught lacking. I can look like this. Like, say if I had to take off an armor piece, and I don't want to get caught lacking, I can just heal like this, and then you know be turned away. If I'm running away and I don't want to move, like lose movement by like having to look up or whatnot, you know, it just makes it easier. It, I highly recommend it. I've noticed like improvement with my movement. Reconnect if I get disconnected from a server, um, it just automatically every five seconds tr tries to like reconnect me. So if I lag out or if I get chung ban, like you might have saw in my video or like anything, is is very useful. It's Screenshot is just screenshot, like it's very self-explanatory. Toggle sprint, um, it's basically so the the way toggle sprint works on feather is if you have it on, you basically never stop sprinting, even if you press the button again, which is very useful because there's been times where I don't know if I'm sprinting when I'm not using view bobbing or something. So like with it being like this, I just know I'm always sprinting. So like that's very like useful. Um. Everything else, like on these menus, are off. You can play with, play around with the settings for your like own like preference, but like I have a lot of stuff off. Uh, here's the general settings. This is just like very general. Um, oh, like the main thing I have is effect time. I have it as the text over here. Um, I don't really know. The rest of this stuff isn't really too important. Uh, this stuff isn't too important. The only thing important in this tab to me is like inactive FPS. So if you close Minecraft or you're tabbed out, it uses like less FPS, which probably like helps your computer out a ton if you're like on different stuff. Like, I don't know, it's, that's just self explanatory. Like, it's not like running your PC like out of all this RAM if you're like tabbed out, which is like very useful. Oh, okay. This, this is what I was looking for though. Okay. Leave server. All right. So basically, if you press the delete button, well, that's what it's set for me. If I press it, I'm not going to press it because I don't want to leave my server. But um, it automatically disconnects you from the server, basically. And if you're falling off of something or you're about to like fall into the void and you want to make sure you get out immediately, you just press the disconnect button and you can leave instantly. Like, it's very useful. So, like, it's just like one of the mo more useful settings like on that menu. Tag repeated messages. I just don't like being mentioned the same exact thing. So, uh... Yeah, I just have this on. Uh, I don't know what this does. I just have it on. Okay, I have all the cosmetics all besides the uh, cape capes. So uh, yeah. 
Um, okay. I have advancements disabled, so it won't pop up on the top of my screen. So I get like full netherite. The main reason for that is it already pops up in the chat. Like, what purpose do I need it popping up on the top of my screen? Like, it just there's no purpose. Um, let me think of an advancement. Full netherite. Um, womp, 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 womp. Like, it doesn't pop in the top right like it normally does. It just makes no sense. Like, it's not that serious that I get an advancement. Like, I don't really need to know. Like, um, fire height. Normally, you want this very, like, way lower. But my texture pack makes it, like, like very, very low already. So, if it's any lower, it just won't be on the screen. And I like to know when I'm on fire at least a little bit. So, I have it, like, all the way up. A lot of stuff ain't too important and then i have all the social stuff basically off you can look at my settings you probably probably want to use the social stuff if you have friends on feather but personally i'm not going to be socializing through feather so uh i don't know i just have it off i don't want it on but uh a lot of my mods that i used to use i don't really use anymore like i do but i don't so um i have 3d layers apple skin only reason why i have apple skin on here is because um uh, my t texture pack has its own, like, fire thing around, around it. Like, normally it's like a hunger bar, but it's like the little fire icon, but gold. Yeah, so I have to actually, like, work into the files to make this, like, work. So, like, Feather doesn't have that built in. So, like, that's the main reason why I use that. Better F3. Uh, I don't know. I just, I'm, I gotten used to this F3 screen. I can't, like, un get used to it. Uh, uh th this is just for texture pack stuff if you want my like weapons to work a lot of this stuff uh is just like fps boosting stuff limatica i need limatica this is like the limatica stuff that is not in feather model gap fix the reason why i have model gap fix here is because feather has one built in but it doesn't fix the model gap on like food and like other items so like I also want my model gap fix on my food because I'm like picky like that sometimes. So yeah, replay mod isn't built in, so I need the simple voice chat isn't built in, and mini maps and stuff aren't built in. For what I know, they're not built in. And then that's pretty much it. Feather has everything else. They have a built-in zoom. I personally don't use Feather Zoom just because I'm lazy to set up the settings, which is crazy. But I, yeah, I'm just that lazy. Like. I don't, like, I don't know. I just, the zoom works. Like, I don't feel like setting it up for Feather. But, like, I, I read, I set up everything else. But, um, maybe someday I'll get to setting up the zoom. Like, I don't know. I just like the zoom already. Like, n not that serious to change it. But, um, I'm going to go through all my other settings real quick because I made a few changes. Um, you're going to have to pause on your own. Um, I turned a lot of particles off. Not a lot, but a few of them off. The ones that I consider useless and, like, just make your screen, like, I guess more annoying. Because I like a clearer screen for videos. You're not really going to see, like, any of this new stuff that implemented into my videos for a while. Because I have, like, I have a lot of, like, backup footage. So I won't be, like, using, like, any, like, new stuff for a while. So, like, uh, English, obviously. That's my only texture pack. Uh, here's my sound, if you want that. I've changed my sensitivity a little bit, lowered it. I don't think I've changed anything. Um, here's my chat settings, uh, ac accessibility settings. And that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my feather settings. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't really know what else to say. Uh, those are my settings nothing too crazy uh if you want to check out my feather cave that'd be cool and on an unbiased note from switching the feather i i highly recommend it like i'm not i'm not saying this to be biased but like feather if you're just a casual player like or a pvp -er, i definitely recommend a feather like this logo bothers you for some reason then like otherwise i recommend feather like there's nothing like there's nothing else that makes you like under like know that this is on a client it's just like a million times better it has a lot of built-in features saves the mods and it, it helps the SF, F, fps a lot you know this is not my server this is a solo world so my fps is 
on the lower side, but 600 is still a lot, honestly. Like, <laughs> but like, yeah, so I mean, I highly recommend it. Like, it made my FPS go up by like a solid, like, solid, like 35%. And I'm sure they're like optimizing it even more. So I just recommend Feather. Um, but, um, yeah, um, I don't really know what to say. Uh, bye guys. Uh, bye, bye, bye. Join the Discord. Uh, join the Discord server to get my texture pack. And, uh, yeah, bye. Uh